Yeah, yeah. Thanks. The specific white wine change depending on the. What did you put in my hand? I'm gonna I'm sorry. Everybody know. Okay, let me go on because I don't wanna. I don't want them to show, to say my shorts. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I did a face because it's morning. No, it's not. It's 3 yeah. p.m. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, drinking Pinot Grigio at 3 p.m. We're the true quarantine housewives. Of Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our casa. And today we're preparing a zucchini pasta. It's a very simple pasta. You probably have all the ingredients at home. It's one of my favorite things. The first time I had this pasta was in Italy. Francesco's mom prepared it for me. We had it for lunch and it was incredible. I ate so much of it. And then that same trip actually, we probably rolled in around, I don't know, 4 a.m. from the piazza. His friends are the best, but they're crazy. Zucchini and pasta were waiting for us. What's better than that? Niente, niente, if it tell you the truth. I love cold pasta. So for ingredients, we're going to be using 300 grams of pasta. We're using a peachy shape, but whichever kind of long noodle you'd like to use will go perfectly with this dish. Of course, olive oil, some salt, two zucchinis, just the zest of a lemon. We're gonna use a little pinch, maybe two pinches of red pepper flakes, quanto basta three cloves of garlic, and some fresh parsley. So for the zucchini, we're just going to cut them in little slices. We want them kind of thick because this way they absorb all those nice flavors from the garlic and the red pepper and the olive oil. We decided to pair these uh, kind of uh, light um, sauce, light pasta sauce, even though light for us, it's kind of a big word, with a Pinot Grigio. Uh, the Pinot Grigio we are drinking today, it's from the northernmost region of Italy, of Trentino Alto Adige, right at the border with Austria. Pinot Grigio, one of the most famous, popular white wine of all. It's cultivated all over the world, the characteristic of the wine, of course, change depending on where the wine is cultivated, the climate, the environment. So we can have uh, pretty tropical Pinot Grigio as we can have super dry and acidic Pinot Grigio, as the case of the Italian wines. The Italian Pinot Grigio are usually a lighter body, more crisp and pronounced acidity. The origins of this specific uh, white wine can be traced in the Middle Age. The Pinot Grigio we're drinking today, as we said, is an Italian Trentino Alto Adige and it was planted the first time in mid-1800, introduced to the region by the Archie, Arch, how do you say, Archduke? Archduke? No, Archduke. Archduke, I don't know. Archduke by the Archduke Joan of Austria. We uh, don't know this uh, uh, producer personally, they seem super cool folks, so we decided to uh, try this uh, wine. You can find their website information, social media links in the description box. The grape uh, that made this uh, uh, Pinot Grigio are a blend in between mountain grapes and valley grapes. The mountain add crispiness, freshness and acidity while the valley grape add to the blend more creaminess and sort of doughiness. That's it. That's all I have to say. I should say the name of the producer? Oh, probably. Pinot Grigio Cortage 2018. Good, I hear it's opened. It's opened? Let's try this uh, beautiful Pinot Grigio from Trentino Alto Adige, Italy. Cheers! Cheers! Thank you! Cheers! Thank you! How was I recording? No! I'm joking. Let's start preparing our sauce. First step, coat the pan with olive oil. Alright, once your flame's on, we're going to start adding our zucchini. And we're not just going to throw them all in, we're going to Put them all in individually. They need their own little space. Okay. 
Perfecto. Once they're all nestled in there, I'm going to add our chopped garlic on top. As well as few or how much you'd like, quanto basta, red pepper flakes. After about five to six minutes, we're gonna flip our zucchini rounds to the other side. You should see a little browning on your zucchini. Once you've flipped your zucchini, we're gonna lower the flame and we're going to cover them and create a nice steamy environment for them so they can become nice and soft. Once your water is boiling for your pasta, that's when we add our salt. Peachy in. Boop, boop, boop. And one more. Right before we take the pasta out, we're going to ladle a little bit of that pasta water to set aside. We're going to prepare it all in the pot. So to our pasta, we're gonna add a little bit of that water back in so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so your zucchini should be super soft and beautiful. It absorbed all of those nice oil and garlic and we're just gonna add a little salt before we add it into the pasta. Zucchini in. And when you're stirring the pasta around, the zucchini's gonna start to break down. Now we zest our lemon right over top. Now we add our fresh parsley. This is a perfect late night snack. Awesome. Drizzle with a little olive oil. Some Parmigiano Reggiano. And just a little bit more of that fresh chopped up parsley we have. And it looks awesome. This is totally our when like midnight, two in the morning, whatever. Couple of glasses of wine. Couple of glasses of wine in. Hungry, we make zucchini pasta. Life. This is pure life. It's always incredible. Delicate. That's going in. That's in the final cut. For sure.